Retirement is often thought as living leisurely and enjoying the benefits of a long career, but many seniors are still working that 9 to 5 to keep a roof over their heads. In this special report, Fox 24's Lance Lloyd looks into a trend that's becoming a growing problem in those 55 and older. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, this group of people is having to forego their golden years and accept a reality that they may never stop working. You want to enjoy life. You don't want to work all your life. Yes, honey, if you want. A growing share of baby boomers are opting to work well into what traditionally would be their retirement years. There's just too many bills to pay. Instead of kicking back and relaxing, they're still struggling to make ends meet. My husband is uh, 75 years old and he still works. We've both been struggling being able to pay our bills. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that through 2024, the older American workforce is on track to grow by nearly 5%. Unfortunately, 55 and older workers have a harder time finding a job if they lose the one they have. You realize that that's going to happen someday. For folks like Doug Allen, who's recently become unemployed from a long-time job, this has become a stark reality. I've been working for 32 years. Allen says the times for workers have changed over the years, leaving doubts for many about their future. When I went to work there, they were busy enough. You knew that that job was going to be there for, for a long time. University of Arkansas economist Mervyn Jebraj follows these trends closely, and it's a problem he and many others have been keeping an eye on. I think this has been sort of this long-term sleeping problem that we haven't dealt with. A lot of the baby boomers that are retiring are the ones that have saved for retirement and the ones that haven't continued to remain in the workforce. Arkansas's labor participation for those nearing retirement age is close to 70 percent, but those numbers fall off after the age of 65, leaving many to wonder if employers are choosing to bring on younger workers rather than hire older employees or get rid of them altogether. It is technically a legal to discriminate on the basis of age, but a lot of it still happens uh, under the radar and it's difficult to monitor. A worry for Alan and many others in his situation. I would think after 32 years of work, you know, there'd be something better available. Some in Northwest Arkansas see these circumstances firsthand and believe it boils down to one thing. When they see somebody older, they just automatically think that uh, they're not uh, skilled in current uh, technology. Sometimes some of the challenges that they can face are lack of computer skills with the technology that we have now. Goodwill Career Services Manager Tammy Jones says her organization is aware of the hurdles they face and is doing its part to help many like Carol Hayes get relevant career training to get back into the workforce. While she's here with us, she is learning new skills while she's looking for a full-time job. The Goodwill Career Center here in Northwest Arkansas is just one of the places that is helping people navigate the internet to find jobs while also using things like Microsoft Word to create a resume. Because it is going to be more difficult to find work. Hayes believes these services will make a difference in her job search. It's really important for older people to keep up with that. But until many in this age bracket find that new career, one of the biggest worries is having peace of mind. The things that people are fearing the most is the insurance. With many factors playing into the trend of the older workforce and the age of retirement going up, both Alan and Hayes have a word of warning to the younger generation. Becoming well known that people uh, are not going to be able to retire at <laughs> 65 like they thought they would. You better take care of yourself and you better have some money saved up because it's, it's not going to get any cheaper. To see more information about what groups like the Goodwill are doing to get people back to work and for another look at the numbers of working people in our area, you can find that information on our website, fox24news.tv. In studio, Lance Lloyd, Fox 24 News.